Hello, I'm Bood and welcome back to my Stockport County Let's Play series here on Football Manager 2020. It is the scarf my father wore episode 6 in the beginning of season 2. Hopefully you watched episode 5. What a ride that was. Unexpected but massively enjoyable when I got to the end of it. Still tingling, still buzzing when I think about it. Seriously. Yeah, but anyway, yeah, that, that's presented a whole new set of challenges. As you know, we're now in the Football League, League 2, which is going to be awesome. But then, I've no idea what's going to happen. I've lost a lot of players. Um, we're going to have to hopefully build a team on freeze and loans, really. Although, I do make one signing. Break the freaking British transfer record. Not. Um, but yeah, I can't wait to share with you. We've got a few things to get through. And we'll finish off the episode with a live comp. Make sure you're still enjoying the series. You smash the like button. Tell your friends. Come follow me on Twitter. You'll find a link to me Twitter and everything else down below. Because if you really want to support me, you can always become a patron. Uh, a link to that is down below in the description as well. And if you're brand new, feel free to subscribe. I think we're done there, aren't we? Let's begin. Let's start here with the awards for last year. Um, now, I like that. That's the team of the year. Lloyd on the left. Osborne on the right. Makeshift winger last year, but he did... He did fantastic for us, Sammy Walker, um, and the rest of them. Great team, that. A lot of good players there. A lot of them are going to be staying. The main guys who, who were ours, um, I've given contracts to. Some of them didn't want, some of them have gone. Hopefully, I'll be able to show you all of the ins and outs. Um, Liam got the Fans Player of the Year. He was awesome, though, wasn't he? Um, he's got tons of goals. Tons of goals. Sign of the season, Jamie Stevens. He was my only signing. The others were loan signings. Um, and yeah, goal of the season was a Paul Turnbull free kick. I mean, that guy, he's like the free kick master. They call him the Ronaldo of the non-league. Although, we're now a professional club, which is amazing. Absolutely buzzing with this. So obviously, we're not in the non-league, even though if you, if you look at the top there, it still says we are. Um, but obviously, we're League 2 now, and we're going fully pro, which is super exciting. This club already feels like it's just going on and on kicking on in all the right ways and something else that's amazing that's happening to this club is that we've bought the stadium you knew that i think i'd shown you that that we're in the planning of doing it i don't know how we've done it again i've done this before it can't be a money thing i don't notice any money leaving um but i'm happy edgley park is back where it belongs it's great to see this liam winning an award he got the national league player of the year for a guy with crap finishing who's never really been prolific to see him come into the team and basically take us to the near the top. He got us into them playoffs with all those goals. And of course you knew this. He also won the golden boot. So well done Liam. Two awards. Did I win an award? No I didn't. I thought I might do. I thought I might sneak in. Because obviously we were, the, we were at the bottom of the playoffs. And we went on to win it. So it was only us and Barrow that got promoted. But obviously you know Mr Ian Everett. Won the league. I think non-league. You don't get to see kit sales which annoys me. Hopefully that will change next season it's always nice to see who sells the most shirts who the most popular player is really uh, amongst the fans but when you look at that no big numbers there but don't expect it to be we're a great club though and i think we're doing things the right way we're not in any debt we don't have on stadium now this was great to see i didn't expect this when it came up usually you see these kind of things and there's more of these he's like the best young player the best player all that kind of stuff i didn't expect to see anyone from stockport and any of these um, little news items um but liam's got on it now, of course, at this level, there's no FA Trophy. That's for the non-league, um, and we're a football league team. So we're going to be playing in the League Cup, FA Cup, as obviously. But we've got the Leasing.com, which is a little cool trophy. And we're in a group stage with Bolton, who are League One, so they're tough. We've got Leeds United's under-23s. I don't know how good they'll be, but, you know, Leeds are a massive team. And we've got Barrow, and I did it. We've got ourselves a partnership with a big Premier League team. Um, I waited till it switched over to say we are his Skybet League 2. So the computer knows for sure that we're a league club. And then I went back to the board. Because I did it last year and the best team was Cardiff. I think it was Cardiff, Birmingham, someone else. And I wanted top end Premier League teams. Someone like a Spurs like I had at Salford. And Chelsea was the best one. And Chelsea have a lot of good young players like Manchester City. They've got a lot of good young players doing not a lot. Doesn't mean we're going to get them good young players, although what a come, but eventually maybe if we go up again, maybe. You know, these kind of players might want to come play for us and they don't cost you any money, did they, when you do it through a senior affiliate? So it could be a great link. Now, a lot of players left on a free, so so players. The main guys that you probably fell in love with in the first season have stayed. Lewis Maynard's left on loan, they're paying to Gloucestershire, they're playing half his wages. 
Jordan Keane, we knew he was going. He signed that deal with Watford halfway through the season. He was he was a goner. Um, now you see, I brought in a lot of players here. Now, a lot of players on a free. And um, we signed one player there for a fee, <laughs> record breaking. And then I've signed loads of youngsters that have been released by the likes of United and Villa. You know, big teams, really. So goalkeeper-wise, I think we had two decent goalkeepers. I think they're good enough for this level. I couldn't really find anything better. So we've still got Ben Hingecliffe. You can have a look at Ben here. Who is decent. 31 years old. Now fully professional. Happy days. He's quit his job. We've obviously got Mr. Stevens, Jamie, who came in halfway through the season. Did a really good job for me. Again, he's okay. And I've promoted as my third keeper, James Gorman. He's only 19. He's one of our own. Came from the youth intake. Hopefully, he can progress. He's got good potential ability. Over to right back. And we've still got Dan Cowan. He was my main guy last year. He's played for like County 400 times, I think. So, I don't want to get rid of him. He's only 24. I think he'd be a great backup. Because I signed from Austin Villa. This guy, Brad Burton. Now, he's got no face. But I reckon he's real. Um, I just I haven't got the most update updated face pack so over the weekend I'm, I'm hopefully going to find some of these guys I've signed and uh, put the faces in because I hate I hate it when it's just black like that and you don't know what they look like over to left back and we've got Tyler Garrett who's you know he played quite a bit last year about 18 games he had um, but I needed someone else and I've loaned in uh, this guy from Bournemouth I think it is yeah uh, Jordan Zimura who I think is brilliant look at his fitness got a bit of speed Great at tackling, loads of potential. I wish he was our player. On to the centre-halves, and we've loaned in a very good centre-half, hopefully, in Michael Agbula. Great name. Uh, he's Nigerian, 19 years old. He's come from, from Wolves, and we've also got this kid. He was released by Hartlepool, Timmy Ad Adusina. Adusina? I'm going for that. I think he's pretty good. I'm surprised they've released him. I'm, I'm, maybe he didn't want to carry on playing for him. I don't know. But it's cost us nothing. We've still got the Hulkster himself, Liam Hogan. Legend. Won us at a final. We love a bit of Liam. Uh, this kid is has been promoted. From, no, he hasn't. I'll tell a lie. Oliver comes from Manchester United. He's one of my three pickups for Manchester United. I don't know how good he's going to be, but I liked his potential. So we'll see. And then Palmer was here last year. So, you know, I've got five centre-halves there, really. Now, onto the central midfield positions. Obviously, I play with two central midfielders and a defensive midfielder. And it's quite flexible. I've got quite a lot of chopping and changing. I can do plays who can play in both positions. So, I'm not 100% sure on exactly what I'm going to do. But let's have a look at a few of them. We've got this guy who was released by Norwich, Zach Dronfeld, who I think all around. I think he looks tidy, to be fair. We've still got Mr. Osborne. Who can play in the centre? Who obviously played out wide right a lot of last year. Don't know what he's going to do this year yet. Uh, obviously, Sammy Walker, legend, absolute ledge. Uh, I like him a lot. I'll give him a new contract as well. Stuck a year on it. Uh, we've got Mr. Williams here, who's on loan from Swansea. I quite like him. Me, I think his all-round game's pretty good. Um, who else have we got? Turnbull, of course. We all know about Paul, 31 years old now, but he's the free kick master. Even though he's got free kicks of eight. He bangs him in the top corner every time. Moving to the top. And again, I've got players who can play out wide, play up front, play on both wings. So let's just check out some of the main guys. We've got Danny Lloyd, who assigned for 26 grand. They obviously he was on loan with us last year from Salford. They put him up for sale at 26 grand. He only had a year left on his deal. I went in with 10 grand. They said, no, we want 26. So I paid 26. So he's the only transfer fee we've made. But he's a good player, can play on both wings. Um, obviously, we've got this guy who can play on both wings and up front. On loan from Norwich, not the best finisher, but I think 14 pace acceleration for this level is rapid. So I'm happy with him. Um, let's go over here. We've got Stanley, who's got great potential. I'm just not 100% sold on him, to be fair. Um, we've got another guy on loan here. Andre Hassanalalalalalali uh, from Colchester, who I quite like. I think he looks good, 18 years old. Going forward, obviously, we've still got Liam. Finishing of eight, my ass is a beast, 26 years old. And I've brought in another Liam. We like Liam FC. Uh, Liam Cullen, who I think looks really good. Don't know how much he's going to play left, but he can play out wide as well. I think we're looking strong, me. Like, really strong. Although you won't be able to see us because my head's in the way, but the Buckies have got us finishing 23rd 
second from the bottom, which is bullshit. I mean, if you've seen, if you looked up at the screen while I was showing them players, you'll see where we are. I have actually played a couple of games. I'll we'll look in a minute, but go down there a lot. 23rd? Fair enough. They reckon Barrow's worse than us. So we'll have to wait and see. That's the my projected lineup. There's no Sammy Walker in that team, and I don't know about that. But you know what I mean? That's a good thing. I think we're flexible. I've, I've managed to find players I think you can fluctuate changing all these positions changing these positions pre-season was okay we had um training camp in england so we played a couple of games in england bradford chelsea in the 23s darlington and then we went on a tour to wales uh, which i really enjoyed played four games and we started our campaign against crew who were predicted to be eighth i think it was so you know high up top half great team great academy um, and great performance by us a lot of my new boys burton was a fantastic I played Liam up front. The wingers did really well. Made a couple of subs. Followed out with a defeat away to Scunthorpe, who started off really well. I mean, the first like 10 minutes was a Scunthorpe show, I'll be honest with you. But then we just turned it on and we played really, really well for the rest of the game. Although they did score two, right? Fair enough. It, like at the begin, end of the first half, beginning of the second half. Um, and then we got one back. But we looked the better team throughout, I think. This was the last league game I've played. This is all I've played in the league so far. Um, and Swindon are up there. I think they're to be 6th. I think Scunthorpe were 10th. So this, so far, was supposed to be our toughest game at home, at Edgeley. And it was fantastic. What an absolute super performance. That guy in midfield, that kid we've got, Dronfeld. Dronfield is going to be a beast. Um, Sammy Walker played really, really, really well. Um, I played the other Liam up top. He had a fantastic game. Lloyd, he played just a great team performance, mate. And the Saint is the tactic I made for Saint Etienne. Similar to what we've been using, it, this, I just, the Saint is full fat coke and the stop put tactics I made were like diet coke. I just trimmed them down, but I was bored with them. Um, the running to, I, had, I was using stop put one most of the season and we tailed off. I made stop put two a bit more direct and I don't think it worked that well at the end of the season. So when I went into the playoffs, I thought, let's try and with it. I know it's supposed to be a bit harder and for fancier, more technical players, but let's try and with it. I mean, we've only played three games, but we're fourth. Now, I'm not looking at promotion. There's a long way of going some very, very good teams in this league. Like massive clubs like Tranmere. I love Southend. You score the time because my uncle lives there. I love Oldham. You know me. You know how much I love Oldham. You used to go there with my dad. We've got Salford in this league. Wimbledon, Exeter, Grimsby. I mean, shit. Leighton Orient. I've always wanted to do something with them. It, I, I love this and I mean that's what I play and play and play it now becoming a full-time club professional they uh, automatically gave me more spots I was allowed sports scientists so we've brought in a head of sports science and a sports scientist so my medical team is the best in the league which just shows you what what's going on in this league with your staff man and um, the coaching team's not far off the best and same with recruitment team so excellent we're going to have many battles with Barrow they're going to become our our rival, aren't they? They won the league. We came up through the playoffs, so they think they're the big boys and we're their little bitch. We've got them in the group stage of the leasing.com as well, so I've got to play them there. We're going to have to play them twice in the league, and we had to play them here in the Carabao Cup first round, and we went to their place and scored a cracking goal, actually, from my new fullback, my little left back, Mr. Zimora. Love him. Pretty even game, though. Now, Mr. Turnbull. I know he's a legend and all that. He was my captain last year, but there's better captains available. I left that last year. When I got the option to, to change him, um, you get to speak to your captain. So I went to him and said, look, I'm thinking of changing. He was like, fine, you do what you think's best. I'm okay with it. So Turnbull's not bothered. And we've made Liam Hogan um, the captain because he was the best candidate, in my opinion. There wasn't much between him and Sam Walker. There's a famous old saying that one man's shit is another man's treasure. And that's true, you know. I mean... Don't be put off by someone's attributes sometimes. I mean, any any player, youth player, when you're at this level, that's been discarded by a Manchester United or something, it could always be good for you. And I know this looks amazing. I know it does, and it's all relative to who you are and where you are. But it is good. It's promising. We've got a lot of youth, look, at the ages. I want to develop my own kind of players. Real players, wonder kids, freaking regens, new gens, whatever you want to call them, gens. Um, but I want to do that. I want to try and spend as little as possible and climb through these leagues. Uh, we're away from home. We're going to be playing at Plough Lane. They're obviously favourites. Can we upset them? Here we are with the team lineups. Um, Cullen, who's a good player, he's going to be starting because the other Liam, he's got, he broke his collarbone. He's out for a week. 
Um, I've got Mulhern on the bench, and he's a good striker, you know, I'll have to show you at some point. He was in my reserves last year, and out on loan, but he's good. Of course, I've been talking about this, my uh, kits don't match up with my on-field kits because I've got to change the 3D ones. Uh, Mark, you said you'd help me with that in the comments. Email me, so I've got your email, and you can help me with it. I can do it, but it takes ages. If you're willing to do it for me, thank you very much. So, last episode was quality. I loved it, and I've had some great comments. Uh, Joseph Banks is an actual county fan. He's found my channel because of this, and now he's watching all my stuff. Joseph, he's loving it. He, he wish it was real life. Because uh, he, he says Wrexham and County in their playoff final would be amazing, and it would, wouldn't it? Because both clubs are big, aren't they? I mean, one of... Um, Mr. Jarman. Oh, good effort. Um, you know who you are. We follow each other on Instagram as well. He said... He was hinting at me doing a Wrexham series and it's something I've, I've added to a list in my book. I have a list of ideas. I've added Wrexham, um, but there's some good ones, man. Liam Benson. You can always count on a Liam. And it's even worse this year, mate. How many more Liams have we got this year? Also, I want to say happy birthday to Mateus. His birthday was the day before this video was released. Um, great subscriber. And uh, yeah, it's his birthday. So I'll wish him a happy birthday. Another one. I've got, I'm doing this all game because that's some great ones. I just want to give a shout out to Jono. Always comments, watches everything to do. The guy's a legend. Uh, he was getting looked at weird because he watched it while he was in work and shouted out, didn't he? Like a like a madman. Right then, so half an hour in and it's pretty even. We're dominating the ball. They've had five shots and not got one on target. Yeah, let's see what happens here. So come on, boys. Here's Zimura. Both my left backs have got knocks. It was a toss-up really to who to start. So I've got the other one on the bench just in case. Uh, Zimora can't finish the game. Here's Burton, the right back. No idea what he's doing there. He's lost us the ball. That's not great. Oh, good tackle. Here's Sammy Walker. Vision pass. He's found Cullen. Can he score? Could do a bit more pace there, couldn't you, Cullen? You needed him to burst through, didn't we? So it's half time here, and it's nil-nil. Pretty respectable against a very, very good team. But we're dominating that ball. We just need a freaking score. We're kicking off the second half. Uh, another shout-out to Jack who is a legend. Jack's been a subscriber of mine for years. Uh, he knows it. What he, he said it's more than a game because he was at home screaming his head off when we scored that winner, which is awesome. Uh, Neil Littlewood. Neil, Neil, have a word with your wife. His wife walked in while I was watching the game on the telly and she thought I sounded like the Scouse guy of Sunday brunch. I'm, a man, I'm from Manchester. That's like well offensive. Although I used to work down south a lot as an engineer. And I was working somewhere really posh. And I had to cordon off the area I was working in. And a guy came in, he's like, oh, hello, hello, oh, can I not come through here? And I was like, nah, mate, uh, I've had to barrier it off. You can't come through. Do you like mank as anything? And he went, oh, what you doing? Are you protecting me from scousers? <laughs> like that. Urgh, you fucking tool. Anyway, come on, boys. Um, I need to concentrate on the game a bit more. We're doing well. And we've just scored. I can't say his name. Dilla 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 ding along. Ding along. Sing the song. Boom. I've got a lot of options. Way better options than I thought I was going to have this year. Seriously. Right. Let's see what happens. Hogs. He's on a yellow. Might make some subs soon. Ooh, he whipped that in. Did some pace? Here's Zimora. Again, pressure. Pressure, pressure. Here's dilla dilla ding dong. Come on, boys. Right, I made a change. Daniel Williams has come on. Very good young player. It's a yellow card thing, really. Both my centre halves on yellows. I did consider maybe subbing one, but we'll leave it for now. Hogan's the new captain, remember? I think we're doing well. We're dominating the ball. Just at 1-0, it's a bit precarious. Is Lloydy. Ooh, that's that's the thing with YouTube. You get into action. Put, I mean, thumbs up, comments. Get your video seen. And they've come back into it. I don't think they deserve that one bit there we have it end of game 1-1 one, one away against a good team one of the best teams in the league and i think we held our own i think that shows you doesn't it we've not won um but even away when we lost that game away against scunthorpe we played well like this so there's a lot of positives in this team and it's a new team a lot of new players as soon as they start meshing together we could really maybe see the playoffs as reality and we finish it here fifth after four games one two Drawn one, lost one. Long may this good form continue. Because even when we're not winning, I still think we're playing really well. So there we have it. That is the end of the episode. Thank you very much for sitting here with me and watching. Make sure you smash that like button. Like I said, get commenting. Uh, the more you comment, the more likely we are to get to know each other and 
if you become a patron then we will get to know each other next year because we're going to be in the same team you're going to be in my series we're going to have a lot of fun together hopefully might there will be a lot of opportunities for you to actually appear on the channel if you really want to so that's quite exciting got a load of ideas but yeah that's it i think can't wait to get playing i'm going to play a good chunk of games um i don't know if there'll be another episode of this out this week because i'm working all weekend and dundee the rebuilding dundee series will be out on saturday so if i can't get one out on sunday the next one will be on the monday that's if you're watching these live anyway take care be safe stay happy i love you see you later